this is Deidre Huey with Action Rider Tack, and I'm here at Candy Con's farm here in Oregon. And I thought it would be important to see that she actually does use some of the things that she talks about and sells. Uh, so we're going to go take a sneak peek at her tack room. She apologizes. She says her tack room's messy, but aren't most of our tack rooms messy? So <laughs> let's go take a peek. Candy. Hi. Let's see. I know you have a free form in here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so here's my free form. Here's see, my well, you can see the wear stains a little bit from all the usage. Yeah, it's like it's great. And that's the classic. Uh huh. That's an old classic, but it's so comfortable. I don't want to get a new one. I love it. <laughs> and here's my torsion. The torsion was the very first saddle, uh, first treeless saddle I ever had. And I still use that when I'm, um, or I'm using a barefoot when I have new horses. To and, start and, them why, out. and why is that? Um, I just feel like I have a really close, close contact. Uh, so I really enjoy that feel. Uh, but I think the freeform gives me better support for my endurance rides. So I use that for all my endurance rides. Okay. But I start them in this. And you said you had a barefoot? And here's the barefoot Sierra. Which is actually the one that I used yesterday. Right. And I keep this uh, for people who come to ride with me that maybe wouldn't feel comfortable in a more English style. And so I give them the, the Western style. But none of my horses have a treat saddle on their backs. Hmm. All treat. Yeah. And it looks like you actually have some biothane over there. And I know you use a lot of the well, this halters. Is, well, this is Taylor Tack. This is Hout Tack. Um, but the the uh, rope halter. Oh yeah, these are the uh, rope halters that we that we sell. And it took me five years uh, before I found a rope halter that I really like. See, it's really soft. I don't like the really stiff ones. So these are really nice and soft and supple. So it's the Buck uh, Bannerman Bannerman brand that we use and sell. And of course our Oh well, look, there's a half pad bag. I just noticed. There's a half pad up here. Yeah, the half in there and there's Which a half one down you, here. You sell. And here's all my equipedics under here that I use. And all quite, to all quite worn. Oh, toe yeah, Oh toe yeah. Clat. Yeah. And that's a wool back, correct? Yep. Wool backs. And oh you have more looks like you have more freeform bases. Up here to your left. Oh yeah. Is that a free form? Those, base? those are prototypes. Oh prototypes. Those are okay. prototypes that we tested and then we um, this was the original prototype for the dressage saddle and then that evolved into our elite that we offer right now. And Bitless Pride is Zilka Bridles. Oh, and that's more Taylor Tack, isn't it? Taylor Tack. Yep. Here, let's zoom in on that. Taylor Tack. She does such beautiful work, Mandy she Taylor. Does. For action rider tack. And then the assortment of girth, of course, my girth of choice are the uh, mohair, 100% mohair girths. I like those. And of course, my my boots. Oh, my look, easy boots. look at all the boots. We have quite an assortment. So, what is what is that well, up there? Well, I have the boas, which I still use for training. Mm -hmm. And Sienna wore, wore those yesterday. Looks like there's easy boots here. Yeah, and those are the epics. Okay. Easy boot epics. And then we have the gloves. And then down below, the bears. So each time they came out with a new boot, I would test them on all our, all our horses. And so that's why we have such an array of boots. And I noticed you have quite a few bits over here, but I know that when we were riding yesterday, you actually were bitless on yeah. both of the horses. Yeah, mostly. A lot of these are bits from my old riding days back in the 70s. And I just, I got rid of all my tack, but I saved all my old bits just for sentimental reasons, I guess. And they hang here. I wouldn't even think of putting this in my horse's mouth. I only use the Mylar bits when I use a bit. And tell me a little bit about what you were telling me yesterday about the Mylar bits. You were saying that when you're training what was it rugi or snickers that oh you that would i would to... go back and forth yeah so i you start out with, with level one uh when you first start a horse because there's more points of contact in in the mouth and then when they they 
get to the point where they don't need all that contact, then they go up into a level two. And what I find with Snickers is sometimes he'll see that he doesn't have all the pressure in a level two. So I'll put him back into a one, and then when he starts... Until he know, starts behaving. Yeah, and then I go back to the two again. Mm -hmm. And Ruji has a two, three. So he's he's the better, you know, he's better behaved. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. But Snickers is young. Right. So. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Okay, bye-bye.